So in my 20 years of tax accounting, I often get clients and customers asking me, what is the difference between a tax deduction and a tax credit? So if you're running the same thing, make sure that you keep on watching because I'm going to explain it to you and I'm going to give you all of the information about what each one is and what you can write off on your taxes or what deductions and credits you can take on your taxes to help you save all the money that you can. Hi there guys and thanks for joining me at the Financial Spotlight. I'm Chantrell and I'm here to give you financial tips and tricks that are going to help you on your road to know your money better. And today I am talking about the difference between tax deductions and tax credits. This is a very important discussion. Why? Because everybody wants to know how they can save the most amount of money on their taxes and I'm going to give you that information today. So first, let's start by talking about what the difference is between a tax deduction and a tax credit. So tax credits lower the taxes that you owe. And then the tax deduction lowers your taxable income or your adjusted gross income. I know a lot of times when you go to get your taxes done and if you're going to a person for the first time, they ask you, what's your AGI from last year? Well, that was your adjusted gross income. Also, when you go to apply for school loans or financial aid or different things, they want to know what is your AGI. So your tax deductions reduce your a G I. So first let's go through your tax deductions. So the first tax deduction that you can take off on your taxes are charitable contributions or charitable gifts. Now these can be either actual gifts, uh, or tangible items such as clothes and shoes and things of that nature. Maybe you give them to the Salvation Army or you have someone come pick them up from your home or it can be a financial donation. That means that you are giving money to a nonprofit organization like a church or a United Way or something like that. That can also be written off on your taxes. You can also write off the mileage that you drive in order to go to a charitable function. So for example, my husband used to be a Pop Warner coach that was a volunteer position. And in order to volunteer, to coach and to do all of the games and all of the practices, he had to drive there. So we would write off the miles that he drove to those locations. It was a lot of miles to you guys. So you can write those miles off, the money off, and also the items that you donate as a charitable contribution. Next, you can write off your mortgage interest. So when you're paying your mortgage every single month, they are charging you interest as well on your loan. You get a form 1098 in the mail at the end of the year, the very beginning of the next year for your taxes. There is an amount in there that says your interest payment. Well, you can write that off on your taxes as well. That's a tax deduction. Also student loan interest. So if you are paying back your student loan every month, they should send you a form 1098E. That is going to show that you have paid interest on your loan for school and you can write the interest off on your taxes as long as you fall within a certain income bracket. And that's a whole another thing for your tax person. Ask them, <laughs> but you have to file within a certain tax bracket in order to uh, write that off. But in the meantime, that is also a tax deduction. Gambling loss. So if you gamble, you go to the casino or you do a lot of lottery things or you pay a lot of lottery tickets and you always have a loss, you can put those on your uh, taxes as a loss or as a deduction. They're also going to say how much did you make or how much did you win? So you have to have 
um, very strategic information about that. Make sure that you keep record of everything if you're going to be writing that off as a gambling loss. Medical expenses. So say anything over, say your job or whatever, you don't, you don't have a job or if your job doesn't pay your, for your medical expenses or if you have your own business or anything like that, you can write off your medical expenses on your taxes. Also, if you have above the amount, so say your job does pay for a portion, but then you have to come out of pocket for some of the medical expenses, you can write those off also on your taxes. That's also a tax deduction. And IRA or IRA con- IRA contributions. So if you contribute to a traditional IRA or a Roth IRA every single month or year, and also a SEP IRA, you can write that off on your taxes. They should give you a form to show how much you have been contributing. And when they give you that form, you turn that into your tax person so that they know how much you contributed. Also, there are income limitations on the uh, contributions being deductible as well. Also, you still need to talk to your tax person about that because there are certain limitations for income to get the tax deduction on the IRA. Also, educator expenses. Now, if you are a teacher and you buy supplies and you purchase different things to um, make sure that your classroom is running smoothly, Well, you can write those supplies and all of the things that you use to teach off on your taxes up to a limit. And you need to make sure that you know what that limit is for the year. Hey, have you had a chance to join the family yet? If not, go ahead and click the subscribe button and join the family today. And also turn on those notifications so that you can know exactly when we're going to post here on the Financial Spotlight channel, all those juicy financial tips and tricks for you. We'd love to have you. Now let's go into our tax credits. Remember I said the tax credits lower what you are paying back in taxes. So the taxes that you owe. Now some tax credits are refundable and some tax credits are not. It all depends on which one you're taking. So let's start off with the child tax credit. Now we know that there are two types of child tax credit. Sometimes there's the regular child tax credit and then there's the additional child tax credit and they will um, you will be able to know which one you're taking off when you look at your form. Um, it's also based on income, et cetera, but, and how many children you have, but just know that it is a credit and you, if you have children, you will have a child tax credit and then that will reduce the amount of in, um, taxes that you might owe. Also income, I'm sorry, earned income tax credit. A lot of people know about that. Some people don't. It depends on your income. Again, if you fall within a certain income bracket for that year, it changes every year. So you need to also have your tax person know exactly what that range is. It also goes from zero all the way up to a certain amount for tax credit every year. That changes as well. But the the thing is that the a lot of times the lower your income is, the more and if you have a child, the more earned income credit, income tax credit you get. If you don't have a child, there also is earned income tax credit for those people. But um, usually it's higher when you do have children. And then the more children you have up to a certain number of children for that year, the more in earned income tax credit you receive. Also child dependent credit. So child care. Basically, if you're paying or you're dependent, if you have a dependent that is maybe um, has autism or something like that, or if you have a child and you have to pay someone to watch them when you're at work or when you're away or whatever the case may be, you can write that off on your taxes as well. That is a credit. Uh, You need to have 
very good information about that provider. You need to make sure you know that provider's name, their social security number, if it's a person, their business number, their EIN, if it's a business, you need to know their address, phone number, um, the amount that you paid them for each of your dependents. And then, and you need to be able to put all of this information on your taxes. And that information is very important because if you don't have that nine times out of 10, you're not, well, you're not going to get the credit if you don't have that information. If you can't supply that per the person or the company or the entity that watched the businesses that watched your child or watched your dependent, then you're not going to be able to write that off on your taxes. Also, Adoption credit. If you adopted a child and you had fees that you had to pay and all of those things, you can write those fees and a lot of the inf a lot of the payments that you made for the adoption off on your taxes. Savers credit. Now this is a different credit because this is for if you have a certain amount of income. Again, it changes throughout the uh, from every from year to year, but if you have a certain amount of income. And when you have that income, you're also saving in your employer's uh, savings accounts, your 401ks, the different type of savings accounts that they have through your employer, then you can get a small savers credit for saving in your employer's um, saving account or 401k program. Now that, like I said, it changes from year to year based on your income. And also it's not that much of a, a credit it's not thousands of dollars or anything like that, but sometimes it will help you if you are say, putting money into an account and then you need to make sure that you are um, saving every year. It also gives you a little bump up because you're saving. And the American Opportunity and Lifetime Learners Credit. This is a credit for people that are students. So if you are a student or your dependent is a student, then you are able to take a credit for paying for them to go to school. Um, it could be their tuition. It could be their books, the equipment that they have to use, like computers and things of that nature to, in order to attend the school, it could be room and board. It could be anything that you're paying for, for that child or that person or that dependent to go to school or yourself to go to school. That is also a credit that you can take off on your taxes. Again, there are limitations. There are limitations with your income. There are also limitations on the maximum amount that you can write off. The EV credit, so that's the electric vehicle credit. They are giving a credit for that uh, recently and those electric vehicles, sometimes you have to pay certain fees to run them or to have them. You also have to buy that little machine so that you can plug your car up into it, or you might have it installed in your home, or you might have to go to a location and pay to, to rev up your car. So a lot of those fees and those things that you're paying help you to reduce your taxes. And our last credit is our energy tax credit. And your energy tax credit has to do with keeping up your home. So say you had the, um, things installed on the top of your home in order to the solar panels on top of your home in order to save energy, or you did some energy efficiency things around your house, like doing um, certain installing certain doors and certain windows in order to make sure that your home is energy efficient. These things are also tax deductible. Well, don't fret because I have a free, yes, I said a free tax deduction list plus a guide to guide you through and tell you every single deduction and exactly why and how you write it off on your taxes. Go ahead and download that today. Link is down below in the description box. You'll thank me later. So I hope that I answered your question of what's the difference between a tax credit and a tax deduction. And if you have any more questions, please make sure that you put them down in the comment section. I will make sure that I respond to them. 
And if you're still trying to figure out how do I get my taxes done? What do I need? What forms, what paperwork, what do I need to process my taxes? Make sure that you watch this video right here because it's going to help you get your taxes in order, get everything prepared and know exactly what you need to give to your tax person or what you need to be able to prepare your taxes. Thanks for watching and have a great one. Bye.